The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus, and when the demon was dr driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever, happen ha ha has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is the story of a building contractor who built very large luxury houses. And to increase his profits, what he would do is he would use substandard materials and he would just do a good job on it to make it look expensive. But actually, all the materials he used were substandard. And aside from using these substandard materials, he also took shortcuts when it comes to the electrical systems, the, 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 the beams and the, the foundations were not stable enough that they actually endangered the lives of the future occupants of these houses. And when he was about to build his last house, he said that this was his last chance to really, make a, to, to really make a big, big profit. And so, he, what he do, did was he took so many shortcuts and he really used the cheapest materials that he could find and he was just trying to do a good job so that the house would still look like an expensive luxury home. And to his surprise and alarm, when he retired, the company gave the house to him as his retirement home. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, this story illustrates what Hosea tells us in today's first reading. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. In other words, we suffer the evil that we commit. And sometimes we suffer the wor worse evil than what we have committed. And if we wonder why there's so much evil in this world, it is because there's so many of us who perform evil deeds. If only we do good and each one of us will do good, then we can imagine a world that is filled with goodness. And therefore we ask, why does the Lord allow us to suffer our sinfulness? In today's first reading, the, the, the people of God, they made idols and they chose to have kings and princes rather than have the Lord as their only king. And the Lord was pained by this. And as said in today's first reading, the Lord's wrath is kindled against them, that the Lord is not pleased with them. In fact, it says, Hosea says in today's first reading, he shall remember their guilt and punish their sins, and they shall return to Egypt. This gives us an image of a very vengeful God, a God who is out to punish us for our sinfulness. But is this really the heart of the Lord? In today's gospel, what was said, when Jesus saw the crowds who, 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 didn't, who, were, so, who, who, who were suffering from many illnesses and disease, he says, at, at the, the, the gospel today says, according to Matthew, at the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. 
that perhaps the Lord allows us to suffer from the evil, not to punish us, that really He wants us to see the consequences of our sinfulness and return to Him in remorse because God, the only thing that God wants is to restore us. Hosea concludes his book with joy and gratitude because the Lord actually restores his people. And God makes this possible, and it makes God makes it possible for them to return to him. That we have a, that, that, that Hosea tries to show that we have a God of boundless love and grace and restoration, and that this restoration is freely made available to those who return to the Lord remorseful over their ways, and that and, and, and if they have ever abandoned him, they would want to return to him. As Hosea says towards the end of his book, the Lord promises, I will heal their waywardness and love them freely. This is what the Lord promises to us. And so, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, whenever we have hurt others or whenever we have taken the Lord for granted, whenever we have taken His goodness for granted, it is easy for us to assume that we have destroyed our relationship with Him and we will just suffer, suffer because we have sinned against the Lord. But today, we are shown a God who is loving, who is merciful, and who is forgiving. And when we humbly turn to Him, we find that His love is always freely given to us that He is always reaching out for us, that He is always desiring to embrace and restore us. Amen.